Jersey Sports Zone's high school football coverage is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. We have Saturday afternoon action as Cedar Creek takes on Camden Eastside in a battle between Group 3 playoff contenders. The Pirates enter at 3-0 and have won the last four meetings with Eastside. The Tigers come in at 2-1 and, and are coming off a triple overtime win a week ago. Early first quarter, Cedar Creek rolling the dice on fourth down. Billy Smith goes deep down the field, but he's picked off by Julius Dominguez. It's a short return by the senior as the Tigers' defense strikes first in this one. Eastside faces third down after the INT. The Tigers try a quick pass, but Jamal McClellan comes up with a tackle for loss. The Pirates' defense forces a punt. Cedar Creek gets back on offense after the punt. Amir Dunbar takes the carry off the right end. He stood up. The ball comes loose, and the Tigers have it. Both defenses came to play as we're tied at zero after one. Second quarter, Tigers facing fourth down in the red zone. Nazir Flack takes off and tries to convert with his legs, but the Pirates knock him out short of the sticks. Cedar Creek's defense holds and keeps the Tigers off the board. The Tigers are on the move later in the second. Flack buys some time, but his pass is intercepted by Aleem Parks. The Stonehill commit comes up with a huge takeaway. Camden Eastside scores on a safety and leads 2-0 at the break. Third quarter, Tigers are back to punt. Aleem Parks on the return for Creek. He's hit, the ball comes out, and Eastside is on it. Fatim digs on the recovery as the Tigers come up with another takeaway. Camden Eastside trying to cash in on the fumble. James Red the third gets the carry and plows his way in for a touchdown. The freshman scores on his first carry of the day, and the Tigers lead 8-0 after three. Fourth quarter, Pirates are knocking on the door. Billy Smith looks over the middle, and Aleem Parks makes the contested grab for six. It's a five-yard hookup to the senior. The two-point try is good, and we're tied at eight early in the quarter. But the Tigers have a response. Flack finds Scott Freeman in stride, and he gets in for six. It's a 30-yard strike to the sophomore. Camden Eastside is back on top, 14-8. Cedar Creek gets back to work. Smith is under fire. Elijah Satchel strips the football, and Calvin Johnson Jr. has it for Eastside. The Tigers' defense is dominating down the stretch. Eastside is driving after the fumble. Roger Brown takes it up the middle, and he powers in for six. The senior scores from 11 yards out to make it 20-8, Tigers. Cedar Creek in desperation mode late. Smith looks deep down the field, but Marshall Washington Jr. is there for the interception. The Tigers' defense puts the finishing touches on another fantastic performance. The Tigers look to put their stamp on this one. Flack hits Julius Dominguez, and then he goes to work in the open field. Dominguez is gone for a 90-yard touchdown. Camden Eastside takes over in crunch time and brings home the win. 26-8 is your final. Camden Eastside is now 3-1 on the season as they head into a bye week. Cedar Creek falls to 3-1 and, and will face Salem at the Rumble on the Raritan next week. In Camden, I'm James Mooney, JerseySportsZone.com.